What's up everybody? Happy Sunday. Today is September the 29th, 2024, and we're getting ready to leave Lake County, Florida, and we just crossed over into Sumter County, Florida. For those of you that don't know, the village is, uh, comprises three different counties. We have about 150,000 people that live down here. Uh, this place is massive. So it's a couple of days after Hurricane Helene came through Florida and then went up through Georgia. We got very minimal rain, very minimal wind down here. Uh, but, our, but our hearts and our thoughts and prayers are out to everybody that was in the direct path of this thing. Hopefully uh, no loss of life and it was only property that you can rebuild but um, yeah it we're, we're all good down here in the villages and so we didn't really post anything because uh, uh, we weren't in the direct path of that so it's Sunday morning or actually it's Sunday afternoon now right Sunday afternoon drive time there you go <laughs> and for those of you that might be new to our channel my name's Michael and I'm Tiffany and we moved to the villages Florida uh, almost a year ago we're empty nesters uh, we're not retirees yet right not, not yet that is the goal someday <laughs> And so uh, we got up this morning and we uh, we went to church first and foremost, right? Yeah. Some of you want to know where do we go to church? Well, we go to church online because when we lived in Charlotte, North Carolina, our home church right down the road from us was called Elevation. Some of you may or may not know about Elevation. We very rarely miss an Elevation service Sunday mornings right from the comfort of our own living room. But we do want to get out and explore some of the churches here uh, in the villages. So I highly recommend if you don't have a home church uh, check out elevation I'll put some links in the description below so we watch church we uh, I cook breakfast right Michael cooked brunch <laughs> <laughs> and now we're out for a, uh, a Sunday drive that's right so I'm gonna uh, focus on the road because we do have to merge here and then Tiffany while I'm focused on driving I'll tell you what we're gonna do today so some of you know that we are looking at lots so we bought our patio villa and we were treating it like a one-year lifestyle visit till we could find exactly where we wanted to live um, and most villagers do move two to four times yep um, in their oh. <laughs> in their time here at the villages so we'll be on move number two um, but we're going to go over and look at some new lots in the Eastport area. We had shown you, uh, Michael showed you some on our last video and we didn't get it. We put our name in the lottery, but we didn't get them, but that's okay. Yep. God had a plan with that. Yep. Um, so there's some new lots released now over in Well Point. So I think we're going to head over there and look at those lots. Not sure if we want them or not, but we'll show them to you and let you kind of know the price points um, of how they price those new lots and everything. And then we'll see if the not clear <laughs> that's my job that's right clear or not clear and then we'll see where the day takes us we'll see if the rain holds off number one yep <laughs> We'll see how hot it gets, number yep. two, which is pretty good if you're moving in the golf cart. It's when you stop. Um, and we'll just see where the day takes us. So where did the day take us so far? We were just on Megasin Road. I crossed Megasin Road. We went under our first tunnel. And what's right next to us right now? So this is Southern Oaks Golf Course. Um, is this a championship yeah, course? Yeah, this is a championship, this is a championship course, course on both sides of the road here. Yep. Um, we have like the village of Citrus Grove over one way. We have Newell, another way um, and so really beautiful beautiful area um, we are coming up on the turnpike which is one I love driving the golf cart over the turnpike um, sort of like having that stoplight that's my other favorite yeah thing. exactly like, where else do you get to drive <laughs> over a highway in your golf cart um, I'm sure there's places but not as beautiful as this so, so the bridge mm -hmm. is straight ahead uh, my advice is uh, hold on to your hat or turn it around backwards when you go over this thing because the wind gusts do kind of pick up you could lose your hat uh, when you get right to the very top there it's kind of has a bird cage at the top of it so you would be able to stop and retrieve it but right here if your hat blew off it's gone so we do have the windshield up today we normally drive with the windshield down but we're testing something new out to see how do the cameras how do the microphones work so the wind is not so uh, bad right now right right so uh, check it out check out the dog that's awesome <laughs> He's so, loving the wind. So we have now made it to the other side of the Florida Turnpike. And as far as the eye can see, you can see the villages is building and expanding. And again, this is just a drop in the bucket. If you go look at the villages map, as far as Eastport and Moultrie Creek and Shady Brook and Well Point and Water's Edge, um, 
it's a very, very tiny, tiny area compared to all the land that they're going to be building on. Uh, but when you're here with your, your feet on the ground, it looks massive. And you know, you can do a 365 degree perspective and you see nothing but new construction. So we're making our way through our first golf cart roundabout of today. And I forgot to tell them, but when we come up here, you want to tell them about this new golf course over here to our right? Okay, so Laurel Oaks Executive Golf Course um, just opened this week. And Michael said he saw a lot of people. It was very busy. The, right there in front of us. Check them out. <laughs> wow, We're... it is busy. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also a beautiful day. Yeah, so. it's a great day, especially with this cloud cover. It's not too hot. You don't have that direct sun. So we're going to stop right here. Off to our left right here is the entrance to the village of Edenfield. They do not have gate arms up right Right now so definitely be careful keep your head on a swivel watch and make sure no cars are flying through before you take a right onto McNeil Drive right correct and Eden Field is a very desirable area we think yeah um, they have not opened any lots they are still moving dirt um, but it, they move dirt very quickly around here so we'll see how long it is till they open some lots over here but the golf course off to our right they built that first which is gorgeous and part of the reason why they built that over here is because you do have the Florida Turnpike running parallel to the golf course. <laughs> Off to our left over here, can't really see it on camera. They got all the uh, the earth move movers and uh, yeah, it goes from here all the way over to Marsh Bend Trail on the other side. And then uh, the future Eastport is just right back there. So Edenfield might be a really, really awesome thing for us if we hold out that long, right? If we hold out that long. We just went look at those lots in Wellpoint and put our name in the lottery. A week Water's Edge. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Water's Edge. I get yep. it confused. W Wellpoint, Water's Edge. There's too many uh, W's. Uh, W's <laughs> and also M's because you have Megason, Morris, Morrison. Morris. Uh, Morris. You have McNeil. So I get my my names Marsh confused. Marshbend. Marshbend. Exactly. Lot of M's. Exactly. <laughs> but we're getting ready to come up on the village of Wellpoint, right? Correct. And before we get there, you can probably see it about right now. Um, they are finishing up the brand new regional rec center called San Tropez. And so you can guess the decorating inside is going to be inspired um, by that part of the world. And so really anxious to see what that looks like. They're going to have remote control boat area. Um, that's already finished. Um, Let's pull here real quick because okay. I think they have a temporary starter shack up here. Oh, maybe actually get the permanent starter shack up there. Oh, okay. Okay, I see uh, it. Yeah. yeah, they got the pickleball courts are already paved, but the lines aren't striped yet. So we'll wait for this car to pull out here. And you can't drive straight because right there it says uh, construction. So you can't go back in that area, but we can take a right right here. And you can see there are some brand new pickleball courts. which we still have not played pickleball yet. So if you're fun and you want to teach us how to play pickleball, let us know in the comments below. Oh, and you have to have a lot of patience. I don't yeah. know about the, just the fun part. <laughs> and we, we don't do it. Uh, we do not want to get out during the heat of the day either, right? All right. So yeah, it looks like the starter shack is straight ahead over there. And you also have some restroom facilities. So this is pretty awesome. But you can see off of the distance over there, you can see all the cars, you can see all the transfer trucks. That is the Florida Turnpike. So uh, kudos to the villages for taking that piece of property and not just you know putting a bunch of houses on that. that that's a better use of it, uh, putting a golf course out there. And uh, yeah, very, very beautiful. Beautiful. Here's the pond. Were you talking about that earlier? Yeah, with the remote control boat area. Yeah. Um, so they have those at a couple other regional rec centers as well. So it's great that they'll, it's a very big club, very big community. Um, so it'll be fun when that opens up and we'll be able to see that happen too. Yeah, there's a sign where it says, you know, uh, no entry right now. So we're not going to get out and videotape it right now. But, but just as soon as they do that and as soon as they open up this uh, regional recreation center, we'll get out and uh, come here for the ribbon cutting ceremony as long as we're home and in town that week we do like to travel as well too so there could be a possibility we may not be here when they do that ribbon cutting ceremony but if you'd like to see one like that when they opened up the saluki recreation center a couple of months ago i went over there and checked that out all right you can see saint tropez rec center right in front of us and can't get gonna... to it though because i got the gate closed off right <laughs> looks like colleen might have uh oh yeah now, let me turned over the we did see some photos of some of the um porta potties were turned over <laughs> yeah down in our part of the villages down on the south side we live in lake denham and we on thursday when it was 
going to come through. They'd canceled trash service and canceled, closed everything for the entire day. We really didn't have any wind on Thursday morning and mm -hmm. very, very little light rain. Right. It wasn't until after 3 o'clock in the afternoon the winds really started picking up and we really didn't get any rain until almost midnight. Right. Then it picked up. Then it picked up. <laughs> and by then, you know, we were already in bed. I did jump up to go film a little bit of it, but you couldn't really see anything out in the dark. So our area was A-OK. -okay. But we did hear uh, other parts of the villages might have had some uh, damage or trees were, were down. Uh, so, yeah, that's the first thing I've really seen down here in the south. It looks like uh, Helene blew over that fence right there. Yeah. And we had our weather radio on. Oh, yeah. Um, which will wake you up without <laughs> a doubt. So we did have a tornado watch. Um, that woke us up um, at 6:30 so, a.m. Yeah, so just being aware and just um, being prepared. Um, yeah, we we'll do a whole uh, hurricane prep video. Some of you have asked about that. What do we do to prep for hurricanes? Where do we evacuate to and stuff like that? Uh, one of the reasons why we moved to the villages in Central Florida is because we are pretty insulated here. Uh, it would take a direct head-on hurricane to really, really do some damage. I mean, Disney World built here in Central Florida for a reason. Um, but one of the things I can tell you that you really need to have, no matter where you live, is a weather radio. So check our Amazon shop below. We have an awesome uh, weather radio that we've used for years. It's very cheap, plugs in, also runs off a of battery. So get yourself a weather radio uh, no matter where you live, especially if you're uh, anywhere that might be susceptible to tornadoes. All right, so we had to merge there off of our golf cart path back into the main road. And we're gonna come up on this intersection. I see golf carts coming through that road to the left. It does say closed and no trespassing. So we're gonna do the right thing and not drive back there. But just as soon as they open it up, we will be taking a left eventually because that's the way to Eastport. So we're stopping right here at uh, McNeil Drive in Corbin. We're gonna take a right on this road, make sure no cars are coming. And then before we go show you some empty lots, we're going to go down here to Sophie's Point. And I did point this out in our last video, but Tiffany wasn't with me. So uh, we'll let her tell you a little bit about some of the homes that we were thinking about over here in Sophie's Point. All right, so some of you have asked if we're, if we're really set on brand new construction or resale. So we are set on the right house on the right lot in the right location, <laughs> if that's clear as mud. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> which there seems to be some mud in this neighborhood um, and so it doesn't matter if it's already constructed if it's a resale or if we have to build it we are just looking for the right thing for us um, so far we haven't found the right thing for resale um, but we did look at these courtyard villas we like the idea of a courtyard villa especially um, this one right here especially that, this one right here what, this is one we consider what is that one is that the Winslow C that's the Winslow C and that's just one of the they make a regular Winslow and a Winslow C the Winslow C has the golf cart garage right there and it has a larger kitchen exactly it has an island in the middle of the kitchen Kitchen. But there was only two Winslow C's in this neighborhood and they both went immediately. So just like us living in a patio villa, we live in an Emerald, which has a golf cart garage. Those are the ones that go uh, very, very fast. Usually the very first day they put them on the market. That one went the very first day as well. So we liked it. It's on a corner, so you don't have a neighbor on one side. Um, we liked the color. It was yep. nice and blue, looked Florida-y. Um, and so we just didn't have a piece about it, yep. so we didn't we didn't put in the lottery for that. We thought about this one right here to our left. I'm gonna aim the golf cart. The and tan the, one. Yeah, the tan one right here. I wasn't crazy about the color. I like more of the teals and the grays. the grays and things like that. But that brown is not bad, you know. So At least it's a light brown. It's not baby poop brown. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but that one's a pretty awesome. That's a Charlotte. It's a two car garage, three bedroom, two bath. And the awesome thing about that one is, as we turn around here, I'll show you in the golf cart. It is. Mm -hmm. On a huge huge corner lot so uh, you got a lot of privacy back there in the backyard you have the fence going right there and then you have the big concrete wall going down the other way uh, you do have a big ginormous front yard and from what we've heard from some of you is about corner lots they look beautiful and they look awesome but what typically tends to happen is it turns into the uh, the neighborhood dog park as, as everybody is out walking their dogs. So um, I think we may be ruling out corner lots, right? Or especially the big ginormous ones right. that are just really inviting to... Well, the other piece of 
that is paying to irrigate it. Well, that's true. Yeah, you're right. So the yeah. water bill will go way up as well. Yeah. And that one being on the corner, though, did have room to build a pool. In the back, yeah. In the back, uh, kind of on the side in the back. And so that's also desirable. We're not sure we, we had one for 17 years. He didn't <laughs> want to clean a pool again a day in his life. Um, but you never know. I'll never say never. Yeah, um, we used to have a pool in our other house, and we live in a golf course community. So yeah. uh, golf course views can be very, very beautiful but they can also be very, very overrated, especially if the tee box is directly behind your house or if the green is directly behind your house and you got to worry about uh, errant uh, golf, balls. Golf, golf balls flying <laughs> into your house. So uh, if we do buy one on a golf course, it'll probably be in the middle of a fairway and where the golf cart path is uh, away, away from the uh, yeah, house. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So the other day when I came through here, they had some construction trucks out there finishing up these homes and uh, some of them did go on the market and we did like these. These houses are beautiful. They do back up to the golf courses, uh, but two reasons why we decided against any of these is number one, the price point. All these homes were, I think, were six fifty to $750,000, right? I think there was one for five seventy something On this side? Oh, no, no, not on this I side. I don't think Sorry. on this side. That yeah, side. On that side over there. I think all these over here, I think they were north of 650000 yeah. That's out of our budget. And then what's the other reason? If you don't know, we showed you the turnpike um, over there. Well, that's the same golf course that the turnpike runs on the other side of it. Yep. And not only that... It's not only the Turnpike, it's also the Okahumka Service Plaza. Yep, if you can see right there through that tree right there, I won't pull in their driveway, but you can see there are the lights to that Service Plaza. So you have the cars and the 18 wheelers pulling in and out to get gas and stop um, and all of that. And so that just didn't thrill us at all. Some people won't care. Right. And some people will love it. And right now it's a Sunday afternoon. I can tell you it's pretty darn quiet. It is, but we came out the other night and it was not quiet. Right, if you come out here during rush hour traffic, mm -hmm. it's really, really busy. Yeah. All right. Well, what was interesting about this neighborhood was they built quite a few pools, pre-built pools in these homes. Um, and so some of them on the golf course have a pool. Some of these, this one was built with a pool. Um, some of the courtyard villas we looked at, which maybe you'll go that way around um, that corner, um, also had a pool. So very interesting. Um, that was, if you want a pool, you can get one of the verandas or courtyard villas with a pool already built in if you keep your eye on them. So some of these on the other side of the road, we had our sales agent keeping an eye on as well. Yep. Um, because they back up to a nature area rather than the golf course and the turnpike. So there's a very large nature area here. You can see another village right. um, across the way, but it, they're very far away. So yep. you wouldn't have a kissing an eye at all. You wouldn't have neighbors behind you. Um, they're you, very, very far away. Yeah, I'm guessing the folks that live in the other village probably weren't too happy because they had nothing but a nature <laughs> view yeah. <laughs> until all these homes got built but uh, yeah you never know so if you got empty land behind you there's no guarantee that something won't be built back there behind you unless of course it's a designated preserve or something like that so these are all verandas to the right because up until about halfway down this row they do have that beautiful nature view um, you can see the courtyard villas that we were talking about are on the left um, so these actually you don't have any neighbor across from you you don't have a neighbor behind you so um, if that interests you keep an eye on those so we'll pull back through here because now all these inside interior lots are the courtyard villas right yes so some beautiful beautiful homes in here i see some sold signs oh there's a lot of these that are already sold but there's still a few that are available as mm -hmm. well too so all right so let's uh, head on out of here and let's go across the street because on friday morning the villages put up some brand new empty lots for sale that you can build a semi-custom designer home on, right? Yes. In my last video, when I came over by myself, I was sitting right here, and across the way, there was uh, a bunch of cars and a bunch of folks walking around, and I said, you know what? I bet that they are going to put those empty lots up for sale very soon, and sure enough, the very next day or within 48 hours, <laughs> this neighborhood right here to our right that I'm talking about, don't know what the name of it's going to be, do you? No. But it is a, a, a loop 
It's called Northcott Loop right here. And I came over here the yesterday, as a matter of fact. Was it yesterday? Friday. Friday. I came over Friday and I was testing out some uh, new microphones. And speaking of, yes, we are wearing two <laughs> microphones today because uh, it was really windy after Hurricane Helene. And I thought, you know what? I'll take a lavalier mic, one of those little small mics, run it down and attach it to this. And it sounded good when I was sitting here inside the golf cart. But when I was driving or when I got out to, to do stuff, I thought the noise was okay but the wind noise was just really really horrible so unfortunately i can't use i might drop some of that video on top of it but the wind noise was uh was just too bad for, for a good video we're trying a new audio setup today to see how that works yep. you won't believe how many videos he's actually made that you have not seen <laughs> Yeah. because of the audio issues um, but you did run into some really um, cool people yep. and nice people on your trip on Friday so it wasn't for nothing yeah exactly <laughs> so uh, they, they stopped me to say hello and number one they bought the exact same golf cart but in a different color to us and uh, that was really really exciting then we had some other things in common as well too they also they, they still own a Tiffin motorhome they have a beautiful Tiffin bus we recently sold our Tiffin motorhome uh, but yeah so so sorry that that uh, video did not work out as far as the audio is concerned but i will drop a little bit of the, the hello hello Michael, we're glad to see you we watch you all the time well thank you so much and you're the reason we have our golf cart that is beautiful they took really care, of care of us. that's yeah. awesome ray and all of his folks up there are super super nice right very nice very. we've been watching you guys for months um and we bought our Congratulations. So, so who do we have here? Scott, Sharon, and Carson. Carson. Hey Carson, how's nice it going? Nice What's that? Nice oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I like yours too. I like that. That's awesome. Quite right a paradise here. <laughs> Cody's is one of our favorites. Yeah, yeah. It's one of our favorites. Cody. Are you going to the one in Brownwood? Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, there you go. Awesome. And Carson and we, participates in the STAR program. Yeah. Did you email me or text me about that? I did. did I reply back to you? Yes, you did. Okay, I, I can't remember. A lot of folks have asked about that, so uh, maybe we can get together with you guys at another time and uh, maybe interview if you'd like to do that, and yeah. we can share with everybody else about this awesome There's program that Bill just has. It's amazing. Yeah. Incredible. Thanks for stopping by to say hello. <laughs> so what we're doing today is we've got dual uh, wireless microphones on today. So I'm trying something out as far as redundancy in case one microphone doesn't work. <laughs> Hopefully the other microphone works out better. And I have one of them attached wirelessly to this vlog camera that's pointed at us directly. They have the other wireless mic going at the uh, the, the forward face and the, the POV camera. Uh, so hopefully out of these two microphones, I can salvage the audio, right? You have too many toys. <laughs> <laughs> I love gadgets. He it, loves gadgets. Yeah. It's getting them to work that's the issue. She, she gets on to me. I spend way more money on gadgets than we make off these little yes. YouTube videos. So if you want to support our channel and you're curious about uh, some of the things that we use, not only for uh, videotaping, but some of the golf cart gadgets or just anything that we buy for our daily lives, for our homes and stuff like that, go check out our Amazon shop. Check it out. Matter of fact, every time you shop on Amazon, just go to our Amazon store first, take a look at something, click on one of the links, and then, uh, yeah, we make a little bit off of that. So every little bit helps me buy more gadgets to try to make our channel a little bit better. So let's do one drive around the loop just so they can see this and then maybe i'll get out and talk and about then it I'll, oh the porta potties are turned over oh there you go they probably did that uh, ahead of time i think they okay. probably did that on a, ahead of time so so uh you can go to the village's website right now and i like their website better than the app when you're looking at homes mm -hmm. uh, because then you can uh you know zoom in and zoom out and it will show you the price of all the empty lots or all the homes that are for sale right there on one page so you don't have to click on each individual one but you click can click on each individual one to see uh, more details about it. So I already did that. Maybe I'll drop some B-roll on top of this. There are 31 lots inside of this neighborhood. There's seven that run down the perimeter of this side that backs up to this Patio Villa neighborhood home. Some of them have a zero lot premium. Some of them are very, very nominal cost. Pretty much all the ones that are in the interior, there's 13 lots in this interior. So you will have some homes that back up to each other and have kissing lanai's. Uh, 
most of those have zero lot premium mm -hmm. except for the very two on the very very end they already sold because that other end they took that whole circumference divided in two and made two huge ginormous lots that back up to a wall they back up to a wall so yeah no no those don't back up to a wall oh, they don't? no those oh, okay. are the interior ones that i'm talking about so oh, i'm talking about the interior okay. lot so we're gonna drive back through again i'll show it to you and, okay. and point that out so speaking of walls over here uh you can see they just put those up recently so more than likely that will be courtyard villas right there directly in front of us and then they'll build some more uh veranda homes and also designer homes so all right let's go back in here so i can point out some of these other lots because you do have seven lots that run down the length of corbin trail and there are still five i think available so two out of seven that back up to corbin trail already sold uh, most of these lots right here, starting with this one, have a very nominal uh, lot premium anywhere, I think, between four and 5000 up to $9,000. Uh, the one on the very edge down here, it already sold. It's kind of a, a, a bigger size lot. But the awesome thing about this neighborhood, well, before I show you those, what I was talking about earlier, Tiffany, is these right here. You see where that uh, green pipe is? Oh, okay. If you take a line and drop, go all the way over to that other pipe over there, uh -huh. and then take that whole circumference, divide that in two, that's just going to be two ginormous oh, lots. Okay. okay. Big, big lots in case you want to build a pool. Yes, they will be able to have a beautiful backyard set up. So, back here uh, on the length of this fence, the awesome thing about that is there's only four home sites, I think, total, and they've all already sold out. Uh, so I'm sure the neighbors on the other side, again, they used to have nothing but a nature preserve. They put a fence up, uh, but these are going to be some ginormous lots starting with a lot. I don't know what the lot numbers are, but if you imagine there'll be one lot over there that uh, kind of right next to that patio villa neighborhood beyond the porta potties. And as you turn here, you'll have two, three, and then this one right here. This is the best lot right here. Lot number four. I don't know if that's the actual number or not, but this lot right here, someone already bought that. It's a huge, ginormous lot. It does back up to a fence, and then you have that huge... Beautiful oak tree. Yeah, with yeah. all the Spanish moss. So congratulations to whoever uh, bought that lot. If you put a swimming pool in, invite us over for Let a pool party. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll help you christen it. There you go. But he won't help you clean it. No, yeah, yeah. I'm not cleaning any more pools. That's, that's for aren't sure all right so let's uh drive around a little bit more and show you some of the other things that are happening over here in well point and then uh we'll just see where the day takes us right okay so you see we're at the back of some patio villa homes right here and that's what we currently have we have a patio villa uh one of the things i don't like that the villages is doing over here in the new section is you notice there are no fences mm -hmm. so there will then maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they will put them up, but I've seen over the other new areas in Shady Brook and Moultrie Creek where they built some of the patio villa neighborhoods and there's no fences. So you'll have patio villa homes backing up to uh, designer homes, mm -hmm. which we back up to designer homes, but we have a big old giant fence directly behind us. We have awesome neighbors uh, directly behind us, super quiet. We never hear them. We never hear anything inside our house, right? right? We love our neighborhoods. Yeah. Um, we love we, our homes. We home. love our homes. Yeah. So even though we're looking for new, like we still love where we are. Yep. And you know, that's why we're waiting for the right thing exactly. on the right lot at the right, in the right location at the right price as well. Um, because we, we actually love where we are. Yeah. If I were Patio Villa, had one more bedroom, yes. we would be very, very tempted to stay. Tiffany and I, we are not retired yet. And uh, not only do we need it for our office space, but we need it for when our only son comes to visit. And now that we're doing all these YouTube videos, I really could use a dedicated office slash YouTube st studio for me to edit, right? Yes, so I don't have to hear our voices <laughs> all the time. All right. Because so we'll he replays his footage 10, 20 times. There you go. Well, I got to check the uh, the sound quality. I know, I know. So we're going to take a right right here and drive through this patio villa neighborhood. This is Terrell Court, I guess is what it's yeah, called. Terrell. And from what we've heard, there's two different patio villa neighborhoods over here. I'm trying to look at to see if it's this one. I don't think it's this one. It's not this one. So uh, maybe these are going to go in the market here for sale very, very soon. Uh, great location because Eastport is directly behind us. Magnolia uh, Shopping Plaza is right down the road. You can get across the turnpike over to Sawgrass. So who knows? May maybe we'll buy another patio villa because they do make some emerald three bedrooms. 
where they basically take your front lanai, like this one right here in the corner. More than likely, I think that is, uh, yeah, that's that's an emerald right there. So that's kind of our floor plan right there. And you see it does have the lanai. And what they do is basically they enclose that in and they turn that into your third bedroom. So you, you do not have any lanais. Uh, what you do have is kind of the little side patio, which you could then put a bird cage on and stuff like that. So. And they have sliding doors instead of a window there in the middle that we're looking at. They'll yep. have a sliding door there for you to come out of your living room. Exactly. But yeah, that's the exact same floor plan that we have. And we love it. We love our front lanai. It's, it's great. Oh, check it out. They're, they're putting ceiling fans on these. We didn't get a ceiling fan with ours. We did not get a ceiling fan with ours. So maybe this is going to be the lifestyle visit one. We'll see. But I don't see any of the this little... This one doesn't have furniture. Doesn't have the patio furniture, which I think that's in the neighborhood next door, which we'll go check out here in a second. You can hear the um, fire detector, smoke detector going off. 